Welcome to Plaid Lattes. I'm AJ, and in today's video, we will be teaching you how to make two different, easy Halloween shirts. If that's something you want to see, then do not adjust your screen. So, we will be making a Cricut and a non Cricut shirt. First up, Cricut. Stay tuned. So, for our Cricut design t shirt, I am using a Cricut Everyday Iron On in black. Shiny side down on my Cricut mat. I just went into Cricut Design Space and found a cute little pumpkin face. And we are gonna cut this out. Cut this. So I'm gonna hit make it. And do 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 do. I will, because this pattern is a basic pattern, I don't have to mirror it. If it was words or something along that line, you would mirror when you're doing um, iron on. And we're going to move on to the next page. Where we shall select our material. We're using Everyday Iron On. And look how smart Cricut is. It's saying to me, make sure to mirror and turn turn mirror on and make sure your iron on is shiny side down, which we've done. And I'm going to set it to more pressure. Because that's how I roll. And my little cricket is telling me to go ahead and load my paper. And go! My jib and you have a Detecting Robinson. The first second I heard that is calculating. We can calculate. No, just cutting. Just cutting. <laughs> you should not it on there. I cut you man. I can put that on there. <laughs> See if I can find a PD or a SVG of Elvira mm -hmm. and then just do it. I'll cut you man. That was quick. Well done. Zippity do all day. This is going to be the easiest weeding project on the planet. And then I hit finish. Okay. And then we turn it off. Still rolling. Okay, I just tacked my first, corners yeah. down. Yeah. I just tacked my corners down because I need to clean my mat. And I didn't want them curling up and wrecking the cut, so I'm going to flip this over. Always, first, always replace your guard. You'll get fur on it if you have pets regardless, but it just protects your mat always, so. I always stick a piece of painter's tape so I know which is the front, and I don't lose it because it'll just disappear into the world. It's worse than camouflage. <laughs> it is camouflage. Alrighty. Choose my weapon. Heal a sword. We all have swords. <laughs> and I love working with iron on. 
because it's so easy. It's not even weeding. It's peeling you. <laughs> It's like that uh, actually is kind of gross. Simply nail logical when she peels off nail polish, she calls it peel porn. Ew. <laughs> it's vinyl peel. You know, vinyl peel To Cricut's heat uh, heat press guide. Heat press guide. Guide press heat. And my shirt is cotton. So first thing Zip asks me which Cricut heat press do I have? And we have a mini. mini. And we're se selecting our material, which is uh, everyday iron on. And there she is. And our shirt is cotton. I'm pretty sure it's, well, there's no tag, so I'm going to go with, feels like 100% cotton. Super soft. We're winging it. So it's telling me medium heat, so I'm just going to turn him to medium, let him heat up, that'll take like 4.3 seconds. It says 25 seconds of heat, constant movement, light pressure. So <clears throat> oh sorry, I do have it on my heat press mat which I'll move around because my mat's a little bit smaller than my mm -hmm. design, but <laughs> application, it says uh, place iron-on material face down, liner side up, right? Mm -hmm. Secure with tape, I don't need to do that. Press while says. moving, so it doesn't say I need to preheat it, but I'm going to just to um, get some of the wrinkles out and make sure that any what? moisture that's in it is out. So I'm just going to give this a little press to make sure everything is... Emphasis on little. <laughs> yes, because it's so teeny. It's like the gnome of the easy presses. Party down, it's pumpkin down. So I'm just going to do each little section at a time. And Cricut has told me to do medium for 25 seconds. Sorry, no worries. You can see Shadow in the corner of the frame. There's our lovely puppy. Snoop Dogg. Go on. It's okay. <laughs> I don't want to know things. And I'm just going to set my timer for. Five seconds because I can't count that high. And I'll just get her started. Constant movement and nice little circles.
Just making sure my corners are nice and sealed, pressed. And we'll be back in a couple because this is a cold peel or cool peel. And so we need to let it come uh, be cool to the touch before we move on. All right, so we're going to see if this is coming up. Just watching the corners to make sure nothing's sticking and that it's actually coming off. And voila! We have a lovely pumpkin t-shirt courtesy of Cricut. Well, my Cricut, not sponsored. So when we were doing the Cricut one, we did forget to mention you want to wait two days to wash it. So if you're making it day of Halloween, just don't wash it for two days. If you go to a party and drink, I'd suggest leaving it outside because the only thing the smell is going to attract is teenagers who can't buy beer themselves. All right, so for our bleach shirt, we have an older black shirt. First thing you want to do is put your cardboard behind it. And then I'm using a ruler to make sure that certain things line up. And then I'm just going to freehand it with chalk. I think that should be good. And it's not about it being centered, it's just about it being even. Drop that down to for the bottom of the eyes. Quarter, for the tip of the nose, the bottom of the nose, and then the tip of the mouth, the center of the mouth, as I move everything, <laughs> and the bottom of the mouth. I am by no means an artist, but I want this to be the simplest bleach shirt you can do. And this is just a rough outline, you don't have to follow this exactly, obviously. But normally people will do trace out on freezer paper, but here in Canada, freezer paper is ridiculously expensive. So, figure it was just as good to ah, break my chalk. Don't cry over broken chalk, kids. <clears throat> to just freehand it. The great thing with freehanding it is if you look at it and you're like, um, I want to change that, you yeah, can. Alrighty, so we have a design drawn out. We have a bowl of water and bleach. This probably isn't a craft to do with your kids. This is for a grown-up who wants a quick shirt. And I'm trimming my sponge brush so that I can get in my detail without ruining an actual paintbrush. And then yes, my mother would murder me because she has proper paint brushes, and then you're just going to try and draw inside your lines. I'm not great at that, so we'll see how that goes. A lot of people will do the, of course, spray, but that's for with the freezer paper. Or you need something so that you can stencil it or what have you, so this is for if you don't have any of that or a spare spray bottle that you want to just empty whatever is in it out and fill it with bleach. So you may be wondering to yourself, why is she drawing out yet another face? Because you just saw me do bleach. Well, my bleach is expired, which is a thing that apparently can happen. So if that happens, wash your shirt, dry your shirt, and 
go to plan B, which is using paint. So I will redraw out my face. And if you don't have fabric paint, try and at least get your hands on a fabric painting medium, which converts acrylic paints to fabric. If not, then it'll just be a little bit stiffer, but it still works. The whole point is that these are quick and easy Halloween shirts. I think it's funny it's easier to draw on these one way than the other. Yeah, I know what you're saying. Texture-wise, you mean? Yep. Because yeah. the one way it just slides, and the other it's like, nope. It sticks. Going against the grain. <laughs> so if you are using a fabric medium just check your directions and then simply paint inside your lines as well as you can. Hey look this one's working. You want to just try to make sure that your paint is as even as possible so you don't end up with any kind of, you know, chunkage. <clears throat> Nothing worse than chunky paint. painting you can kind of just fill it in and then come back through and try to make sure that your lines are nice and crisp so that it comes out looking right and then you simply just have to let it dry and uh, I mean if you're in a real hurry you can always leave the chalk on and it actually looks kind of cool or if you have the time just pop it in the washing machine and uh, you are good to go for Halloween outing or if you simply just want to be festive while watching some slasher movies at home. For your non-cricket shirt, as you saw, you can do it with bleach if your bleach concentrate is still good or with paint. I did mine with just a basic acrylic but if you're doing this for kids or you're going to be out you can do glow in the dark, you could even do it with the reflective tape if you wanted to. If you are doing it with paint, after it's dried completely, you just want to take an iron or your mini easy press and heat seal it. Make sure you put a cloth down on top of it and then just 15 seconds on low. Seals it so it won't just wash out and get all chippy in the wash. So if you're looking for two, technically three, simple easy Halloween shirts, here you are. You may or may not have noticed that some of them are a little inspired by Jesse Pinkman from Breaking Bad, which I watched finally after watching The Path, which is awesome if you want something really messed up to watch. <laughs> but till next time, stay caffeinated, stay cozy, and remember, the interwebs are watching you. She's like, don't disturb me. She's like, I'm adorable. Oh. <laughs> why do you do that? Like, um, I don't hear the clicking for my photo shoot.